Yes, it did. Hopefully it doesn't screw anything up like it does sometimes, and that could be edited out of the VOD if Pyramus so decides so. Welcome to the quarterfinals of the Ghost of Gamers Holiday Special European Qualifier. This is starting on Delta Quadrant. Speaking in languages, I don't understand. I'm sure someone will translate it in the chat, maybe for me. If not, that's okay. Cass has made his way up here to the quarterfinals. And so has White Raw. For those of you that don't know, White Raw is sponsored by Duckload Raw, and that's why his name is Duckload Raw now instead of White Raw. That's very old information, but figured I should get it out there anyways. I am Vince here, bringing you the solo cast today along with the stream. And White Raw not going to wall off against a Terran, always a great idea. I'll be interested to see how the backdoor expansion plays out for both players if they go for early aggression. We're going to go for the very easy two base to take, even though with drops into the back of your base can be kind of a problem. And this is the qualifier for uh, the Ghost of Gamers Holiday Special, which will be taking place on the 26th, if you're watching this on a VOD, if it gets up in time, so make sure you tune into that live. Check out ghostofgamers.net for more information. And it's completely brain farting, which is, oh, that's right, uh, uh, semi-finals is where you need to make it to qualify, and this is the quarterfinal, so whoever wins this, this is a best of three, I hope. And I'm actually going to check my message to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, that's just show disconnecting, so obviously I didn't miss anything important at all. Scout for White Rob moving out. Getting that probe harass going early, and that poor SCV just getting beat on, and ooh, even switching targets just to beat on as many SCVs as possible. And White Rob being as annoying as he can be, and just and doing a good job of picking the probes on the edge or the SCVs on the edge that way. Ooh, run away! Don't take health damage. Ooh, only two more hits after shields and heat. That poor guy is going to die. Uh, Gateway Cybercore, nothing exciting for either player. And there's the Marine to chase away the probe. No more probe action today. Just mining for you now. Don't get to do anything exciting anymore. Tech Lab coming out for Empire Cast. Is he going to get a Reaper for scouting? Marauder for aggression. Ooh, looks like we're going to get that early Marine Marauder uh, aggression out from Cass. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't build up about two Marauders and two Marines. And he'll... Get this barracks done, get another marine out, switch to building a reactor if I am right. I could be horribly, horribly wrong, but the first Zealot and Stalker are on their way, and this SCV is going to meet the Zealot and get sliced a couple times, but other than that, just fine. Uh, White Raw happy to chrono boost his Nexus instead of the gate research, and well, Cass looking for some hidden technology, and oh, SCV getting sliced and diced. And there's all already working on those destructible rocks. Concussive shells just finishing up for Cass. The stock, uh, the probe rather, is out here. Stalker going to be finished here in a second as he's working on the destructible debris because he wants to take that expansion. But here comes the second marine, and is he going to move out now? No, nope, I lied to you completely. Oh, there's the SCV coming with it. Probe going to see this coming. And White Rod knows he needs to prepare for it, so the, the Zealot and Stalker should move backwards. Uh, hiding the Twilight Council back here, going to try to go for DTs. Uh, White Rod, why aren't you defending your ramp? White Rod, your probe just died. This may not be good for White Rod. On the confused scale, I am very confused, because here he comes straight up the ramp, going to start building a bunker here very shortly, and Cass going to start working on that gateway, going to force it to cancel, it may even die, oh it did die, I don't think the cancel went off in time, here comes the forces for White Rod, going to try to uh, defend this, he, uh, probes getting pulled off the line, this bunker might end up finishing, that would be absolutely huge, that stalker does go down, warping in some more stalkers, look how close that bunker is to finishing, is it going to get finished, it looks like it will, the bunker does finish, the Marauder makes it in there, these probes are going to be forced to take this out, and that Marauder is going to run away, salvaging the bunker, but the Marauder is going to die. 
really surprised to see him not pull those units back faster. And oh, getting fast blink stalkers. Very surprised to see that. As Cass goes for a more standard build now, getting his factory up and running, getting attack lab on there. Um, may switch that with the starport and switch into going with uh, for cloak to banshees. He does have both gas going. It will be very interesting to see what's going on. And there's the Dark Templar, or Dark Shrine coming out as well. Actually, he's going to switch that and get a Raven, is what I bet is going to happen. Ooh, even a Missile Turret up at the front of the ramp. No Dark T DTs for you, but in White Raw. Cass doing the smart thing and getting a defensible very early. And Raven just has 200 gas pretty much perfectly when that lands. Awesome. Uh, factory going off to Scout. Going to see that there is a pylon building back here, no more debris. And here comes the Stalker's Blink is finished, so he may end up blinking onto the high ground if he had vision. Ooh, is he going to blink over into the back of the base? The, yes, there we go. Oh, that's going to cause problems for Empire Cast, even though he's got plenty of forces to defend against us. Here comes the Stalker's, and... That Raven will be out in plenty of time. Needs to blink and get out of there, losing a couple of the stalkers. DT's going to come in, in the back, but with the Raven, not going to be a huge, huge problem unless he can keep Cass distracted. And it's going to switch that with Reactor now so he can really crank out those medevacs. And just going to leave that pylon there. I think he saw the tech lab with the starport and decided, eh, not worth it to try to get DT's in there quite yet. I'm sure Cass will find this pylon before too long and destroy it. However, uh, White Rod getting up on the base count as there is no command center done yet for Cass. He is starting one. Uh, as you can see, it is slightly behind the timing of White Rods, and White Rods is already in position. This one will need to lift off and move. Surprised not to see him scout for that pylon. He did move back there. Looks like he will be destroying these back rocks now, and he will see that pylon as well, so. Poor pylon. One marauder and a couple marines going to take you down very, very slowly. Stalker's going to run up to the front of the base while that's happening. A couple marauders in the bunker will take care of that, though. Yep, here we go. And blink back. I'm making the most use out of his Blink Stalkers. Here comes the Congo line of probes as the transfer, getting an observer out as well so he can keep an eye on the position of Cass. Ooh, getting an immortal out after that. Uh, forge finish, uh, forge building rather for White Raw. He wants to get some weapon upgrades going, getting the sentry out as well. Very small force, but very scary nonetheless. That Raven does have enough for point defense drones, and that can cause huge, huge problems for the Protoss player. Uh, factory in the back of the base landed. May actually start building Hellions. Ooh, loading up so, uh, drop going into the back. This is going to cause some problems. Um, getting the Hellion out as well, and White Rod's going to have to respond to this. He does have Blink Stalkers, so it should be able to Blink up to the top and deal with that. There are the units that are not moving up to the front right now, though, so going to go get in his lift off here in a second, but Blink should be able to pick these off. Where's the Blink? There we go, getting one. Needs to be careful, though, because the other army is right there. And get ready to Blink back, Stalkers. Get ready to Blink back. Run, Stalkers, run. Very nice. Factory still alive, still fine. Uh, needs to get taken out before too, too long. And it looks like these Stalkers are going to go ahead and work on this. Keeping his sentries in the front to block the ramp. Very nice. And he's got vision up on that ramp. Sorry, Cass. Goodbye, factory. It was nice knowing you. And the command center for Cass finally landing, but his bad timing on his transfer. Look at all those guys go run all the way back to the main and then back to the mining field. And here comes a push in the front, but luckily the force fields are there to prevent. Oh, nice uh, turrets going down in the front. Uh, get your army back up there, White Rod. What are you doing? And does he have any more force fields? Yes, he does. Just laid another one down. That's going to be key. Going to hold this off just barely. Cass has a unit up in that medevac. I wonder if he realizes it. Yep, he's going to go drop to the back again. 
Going to drop up here, but there is vision of that. He can blink up there and take care of that. No problem. All of his other units are moving away. Did that observer see that medevac? It does now. Where's those units coming back? The units in the front going as well, leaving the sent A sentry behind. And, ooh, very nice. Shut that down very, very quickly. But here comes the stem up the front. Any force fields? No, none at all. This immortal is in danger of dying. Another auto turret going down to do as much damage as possible. Poor immortal dying. Great move by Cass of distracting White Rod. That robot facility going to go down before it finishes the immortal here comes these stalkers trying to clean everything up probes getting pulled off the line to defend so much damage being done by this army from cast great move micro going to slowly take out these stalkers the probes are showing up and that's going to help a lot as the marauders have nowhere to go they're going to have to load up but there's so many left needs to take out the pylons looks like there's just not going to be quite enough forces from white rock white rock actually having a horrible macro that game as he's at 1300 middle 600 gas and that's the difference telling cast to make jungle so that's where we're going next